This is DITW Anatomy and Physiology, and you are watching the video on endocrine versus exocrine. Exocrine onto an epithelial surface, endocrine into the bloodstream. Glands of the human body are referred to as either exocrine or endocrine. Some organs of the body you may hear have both exocrine and endocrine abilities. The difference between exocrine and endocrine is whether the gland releases substances onto an epithelial surface or into your bloodstream. An epithelial surface is the layer of tissue which typically makes up the outside layer of a body surface. For example, the top layer of your skin is a type of epithelial tissue called stratified squamous epithelial tissue. Sweat glands are a type of exocrine gland which secretes sweat onto this epithelial layer of skin. What we commonly refer to as the inside of the stomach where food enters is really the outside of our stomach, since this is the part of our stomach that is exposed to the outside environment. The stomach is lined with an epithelial tissue and some of these cells are exocrine glands which secrete various enzymes and mucus to help break down food. What's important to remember is that all exocrine glands release a substance onto an epithelial surface. Endocrine glands are glands which release substances into the bloodstream. When we refer to the bloodstream, I am talking about the vast network of arteries and veins which make up our entire cardiovascular system. We have a whole system of glands that influence different parts of our body that we refer to as the endocrine system. For example, as part of this system, the pancreas releases insulin in response to an increase in blood sugar. Exocrine onto an epithelial surface endocrine into the bloodstream. For more examples, check out the recent video on the endocrine system. If you are interested in learning more about anatomy and physiology, then please watch one of the recommended videos above. If you found this helpful, please leave a like on this video by hitting the thumbs up button down below. And if you have any suggestions for videos, please let me know. And make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to know when new videos become available. Keep learning, keep growing.